Hi everyone, this is Tiana. Let's see if people are joining us right now. Okay, so I'm gonna start off this uh, tutorial with some real talk. Um, I'm having one heck of a day with uh, doing nails. I've messed up a number of times. I don't know if you guys get like that. Um, send me a thumbs up if you know that's the case. I'm just having, I don't know, it's just, we talk about, you know, this, uh, this concept of nail gods. Um, I think today I might be kind of on edge. So um, if I screw up or, you know, just know it's, it's a natural proce process. I know I'm not the only person that deals with this. So um, just laugh it off, but I'm so thankful you guys are here joining me. And I see a lot of people just kind of jumping on and saying, hey, and where you're from. Oh, we got somebody from Vegas. I can see somebody else from California. Thanks for joining us. Um, okay, so I'm gonna talk about stickers today and I know this is a, a topic that has been brought up um, in our community and uh, let me just jump in and get started. I did a couple of nail tips to kind of show you just in general the things that you can do with um, the split stickers. And in some cases, I actually did co um, combine it with nail stamping. And um, so here, here are some designs. I had stamped this um, skull, this bull skull design. This is just with stickers and a black base. And then this, I wanted to show you um, these iridescent stickers here and it actually this is what I'm going to dive into today because th there's specific questions about how to use this and I know a lot of people actually have them so I'm going to talk about that and I'm going to um, show you how to do a design on my nail I'm going to do a design very simple like this like I said I was having a rough go at it today so there's that with a matte top coat and then I also have some designs here. Um, this one I combine with stamping and you see like as an accent, I put some gold stickers on there. And, oh, sorry. I'm just reading through the comments as I'm speaking and stuff. And so I'm noticing that people definitely have those nail days too. So thank you so much for your support. Ah, I don't know what's up. And so of course going on live, it just makes me even more nervous, but we'll get through this, right? Um, I wanted to also show a very simple, simple design with just uh, a green base and a nail, I mean, sorry, a nail sticker. There you go. So just some basics. I have a couple of stickers here that I wanna kind of go through with you and just kind of show you the different type of nail stickers. So first of all, I'm gonna show you these nail tapes. Um, these can vary in different widths, so it can be wider or skinny, skinny, like how you see it here. And this, you know, it can help you to make straight lines. Um, won't lie, they're kind of a B to, to start off. <laughs> so, um, you know, to kind of get, find the edge. But once you do, they're pretty simple to use. You just kind of fit them to your nail and use them as you see fit. We also have, um, these individual type stickers. So I'm getting to that right here. So where basically you just kind of pick up the, de the design and you put it onto your nail. Uh, Lindsay, we do sell nail, nail tape. Um, most of the items that you see that I'm showing you, you can find on maniology.com. So you can just go to www.maniology.com. And um, so with an individual sticker, I've used that, that concept here where I just put an anchor over the seashells. I have this design that actually came kind of like a half moon style. So you can see designs like this here. Sorry, I'm using a different orientation. So if I'm a little wonky, I'm sorry about that. So you have stickers like this that you can use as a bordering system here. Um, bordering system. How, how silly. Um, and then, let's see. There's like nail wrap sticker. So, you know, as you can see, these designs here, they're quite big, um, especially right now since I'm um, 
I have short nails. Basically, you cut them to the length of your nail. So you can cut them as big as small as you want. No matter the sticker, though, the process of applying the sticker is, is pretty much the same. And um, so basically, you just select any sticker you want to put onto your nail. And you put it onto the base of your nail. And you don't have to have, you can, um, a colored base. So you can do a negative space, which is what I'm going to show you today. And then also like something like this. Um, and just seal it with a top coat. So it's really simple, it's a nice, quick, easy way to put some decoration, some accents on your nails and just kind of start the day. So I know many of you have probably purchased these because they're gorgeous, as you can see, very beautiful. And they actually organize themselves, okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to see in the light through the, um, the camera, but can you see the wavy design? So this has kind of like a wavy iridescent rainbow shard kind of look. This is just an iridescent wavy design. And then you have straight lines and these are lines of different widths. So instead of these nail tapes, like I had mentioned, you get them in sheets. Concept is, the same, you just have two different styles. So let's go ahead and start with this. I'm just gonna use, um, actually I kinda used this already, you can see over here. So I'm gonna use this sheet today. And I'm just gonna do a sample on my middle finger. And, and today I thought it was kind of um, good to show you an example just how I would basically size this type of sticker to my finger. There's no scientific way of doing it, but um, this is how I do it. So I love this uh, needle nose plier and I just bought it when I took a trip to Japan and it is, I'm trying to see if you can see how sharp and pointy it is, but it's perfect for, um, you know, pulling off these designs, you saw how easy that was? Because if I was over there with my nail, just fidgeting with it, that's exactly what would happen. Um, not to say you couldn't do that, um, but if you do have pliers, tweezers, you know, anything like that, I would say use it. It would be a nice, helpful tool. And then, of course, you have to size it to your nail. The tool I use is actually my cuticle nipper. So, I just prepped my nail with our calcium base coat. And let me lift up this nail part. And I'm just gonna size it to my nail. Like I said, there's no mathematical scientific way of doing this. This is just the way that I'm gonna do it for the sake of um, showing you guys. Okay. Now say for instance, if you're gonna do your whole, you know, a set, with this um, nail tape. I would probably just take off the whole, this whole strip and like put it towards the edge of your table and kind of size it that way. Maybe you might find it easier to size up all your nails at the same time. I don't know, this is just the way I'm showing you. So again, be creative. I have this, uh, the flat end of my tweezer here. So I actually just like to use that to kind of flatten it to my nail so make sure you do that because if any of that sticks up when once you go through the sealing process it's going to make it really difficult and um to seal in the design and therefore it's going to cause lifting in the design so it's not going to last um, but from here pretty much i will just use my cuticle nipper and cut it to my nail there you go so it's kind of a nice quick way. I'm not wasting any tape, but you know, you do the method that works best for you. And I'm just gonna kind of just make sure that I don't have any edges kind of hanging off just so when I seal it, it'll be easier for me. And it's also gonna keep in the design. Let's see, try and make it as flush as possible.
there you go. So again, sorry about that. Just kind of flatten it out. Just go with your, your finger. And these stickers are super thin. So ultra thin thicker, uh, thickers, oh goodness. Um, stickers are best. I think even if you have a C curve. Now my nails are not very curved, but either way, ultra thin stickers where you it just adheres really nicely to the nail bed works best okay so i'm gonna stamp this design onto my nail and all i'm going to use today is um this is from our tattoo plate i love these designs because they're so graphic and of course if you know me i love stamping in black uh, i just love the designs but I'm so basic when it comes to nail art. I just love a good black stamp. Um, so I'm using today our straight up black. Hey, Shannon. Okay, so I'm just taking this rose coffin design here. This is great. And I'll have a story if you see what, what's on my stamper. <laughs> I have a story about that. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this design and stamp. Okay, shoot, I didn't realize that my nail is still too short. I managed to fit the design, but it actually you can't really see the accent of the the sticker. But I guess you can kind of see the sheen behind it. You see that? Okay. So <laughs> this the story I had. So this is the kind of nail day I've been having, where I ruined my stamper, the clear part. How did I do that? Um, my acetone pump today as i was making these tips it squirted out to the side and it landed onto my stamper so i can still see i can still use it but it's kind of a bummer but yeah that's the kind of nail day i've had <laughs> so anyway continuing on with the design with every stamp design, you need the smudge free top coat so your design does not smudge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Just put a light coat. For all you stampers out there, if you do not have the smudge free top coat, this is a product to die for, you need it. If you're tired of your design smudging, this is your, this is the product you need. So there you go. Pretty simple. Oh, okay, can you focus, focus. So there. So I could just do another nail. Do you guys want to um, want me to show another sample? I can do another nail. Give me a heart if you want me to do another sample. Oh, okay. Got some hearts, got some thumbs up. Okay, let me just show another one. So this time maybe you can actually see the design that I'm talking about. Let's do the pointer finger. Okay. Oh, looks like I got a cruddy in there. Let me just snip that off. Sometimes that happens. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna size up the design to my nail. So let me do my pointer finger. So for some of you who are just joining me today, welcome. Um, basically today, I'm just showing you how to use nail stickers. It's a nice, fun tool a nail art trick you know to kind of just add to your stamping or if you just want to enhance your nails um, with a regular base coat you don't need a base coat 
just get started. Okay, so there, sized it up. Let me cut off the excess. And so you're not wasting product, just kind of size it up to your nail as best as you can. Ooh. And this little part, I'm just gonna put it right on the back so I can use it later. Oops, tricky little thing. Sometimes you can't tell which is the front and which is the sticky part and the non-sticky part. So there you go, size it up to my nail. Again, just check the free edge, especially if you're doing a design like this, you wanna make sure that there's no excess hanging over. And since this is the only plate, let me just add another design. Let's do, let's do that one. I'm thinking for this, I'll probably only be able to pick up the cactus at the top. Oh shoot, darn it. I'm just gonna scrape that off because again, I have no cuticle tape. So, and I just realized that. So you know what, I'm gonna work on this trick and we shared this trick earlier. Um, I'm gonna just draw a U that matches my cuticle. And so therefore, I don't have to worry about too much polish getting onto my skin. So let me just do that. So if you're not familiar with this trick, I'm just gonna just draw a U. And I'm doing this because I already know that the design is too long for my nail and I don't wanna get, especially with black, you don't want to get that polish onto your skin because that's gonna be a, a B to get off, okay? So there you go. Scrape, pick up. So you kind of see how I, I've kind of taken off that skull part. So let's see. Move this so you guys can see and I can see. There you go. So you guys see that? See that little, little hint of shimmer in the back? I love this design. Um, okay, so again, we're going in with our smudge-free top coat. I'm so sorry, and I should have showed you this. Bad habits die hard, I'm telling you. So let me just show you the correct way. So again, put the top coat on, but you need to seal in the free edge. Very, very important. So there you go. So on the free edge, and there you go. Two designs using that same sticker technique. Okay. So yeah, I think I gave you guys all the tips. Um, you know, stickers, they're a nice, fun way to accent your nail or to use them as just, you know, your nail art. But things to, to keep in mind, have a good top coat. You can include other mediums such as stamping if you'd like to. If you are gonna stamp, make sure you use a smudge-free top coat. And another thing too is make sure that you flatten out the sticker onto your nail bed very very important say for example if all of a sudden you put the nail um, the design on let me just kind of take a random sticker that I have here okay just maybe show you an example of what I'm talking about so as you can see I'm gonna put it over here okay now, I, I did that haphazardly so you can kind of see, but do you see how unflush it is to my nail bed? Now, say for example, if I just go ahead and put a top coat over this, the design's gonna lift, nothing is gonna be sealed in. It's gonna be really easy for your design to come off and you don't want that. So just make sure, you know, usually, this, you know, the sticker allows you some, some play time, so make sure 
it's flush to your nail. Okay. Okay. So you guys can see that much, much more flush, level with your nail, and now you can seal it. Okay. So let me see if I have any questions. Um, let's see. Seems like I, lo I got a lot of uh, really good comments and I hope you guys really enjoyed this technique. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any comments or questions, we'll be checking and answering them um, you know, throughout the week. So feel free to, to ask. Um, some other things that I wanted to, well, just like one really quick reminder. We all know that uh, Mother's Day is coming up, and if you don't, Mother's Day is coming up this Sunday. Uh, we have a really, really cool idea this year. Uh, we came up with four really nice, unique designs of printable cards that you can go ahead and print out for your mom. Um, so please go to our website, www.maniology.com, and go ahead and print one. If you like the design, just keep it for yourself. It has some really inspirational quotes, some really good stuff, and um, maybe you can get creative for mom. Uh, get a little, give her a little piece of nostalgia, you know, and uh, color it in for her. I think that's about it for today. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, take care. Bye.